Grrr, readings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and I'm back with more Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last time we had a Helmet Eve run, so let's go ahead and get started. We unlocked a new character once again. We actually have the full roster except for one now. So let's go ahead and do our Judas run, because that's who we unlocked last time. And Judas is an interesting character, as you can see right off the bat. He has one heart. And he has a spacebar item right off the bat. And he's also the hardest character for me to get started with. But before we get started, seed of the day, Tom. M-B-O-W-6-N-J-H. If you want to play along. And I'm expecting to have to do a couple of these. Whoa, there's a <laughs> another item right off the bat. I haven't seen an item just floating in the middle of the room like that before. That is the notched axe, if I recall correctly. And yes, it is a reference to Minecraft, if that hasn't been impaired enough. Oh. But the reason why Judas is such a hard character for me to get started with is obviously because he has one heart, but he has a ton of damage. So what we're really looking for is a health up in the first item room when we find it. Oh, oh, shit. Assuming we don't die here. Oh, that was close. We need health now. That's not health. That's a shit ton of money. So now I'm backtracking, hoping for some health. Or hitting the item room. And you can also see how Judas has... None, no consumables. Okay, we'll hit the item room first. Okay, no idea what that is. Looks like an eyeball just floating. Whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Okay, that's a new one. Looks like it's a, a huge damage bonus to short range, and then it quickly tapers off to less damage at about medium range. Not sure if I like that, especially with Judas. But I guess we'll try it out. I mean, we don't exactly have a choice now, do we? So let's go ahead and hit the boss. Oh, th that's not what I want to see. A champion version of that. But, oh shit. I am lucky I didn't get killed there. Okay. That wasn't what I was expecting to get out of that. I was expecting the Cuban meat. I guess this is the bandage girl version of that. Uh, well, we have a pretty obvious spot for the secret room, but no bomb, so down we go. At least we have a soul heart now. Or, sorry, a spirit heart, so we have a chance to, you know, actually have a little bit more room. Well, there's a tinted rock right off the bat. That's something I will, will, will want to hit. Damn, that has a lot of knockback on it as well. Maybe I should hit the shop on the... Pre no, well, well, I couldn't have, but I don't have any hearts. Or any keys. Okay, that's done with. Let's head up here. Another tenon rock. Man, if only I could uh, get some bombs. Come on. I'm trying to be a little bit careful because I don't want to... Oh, choices. Shop or secret or uh, item room. I think where you hit the shop. So we have a chance to... Yeah, we have a chance to buy another key. And I'm not sure what that is. Not that we exactly have a choice to chance to buy it now, but... Okay. Correct. Concussive tears? Alright. Well, oh, this is going to be interesting. I'm not exactly sure what that item does. Oh, shit. We have an absolute ton of damage right now. And, of course, now we get another key. 
we are hitting more champions, and last time we did get everything's terrible, if I recall correctly, so maybe that's what uh, it does. It makes it so we have more champions, and I think that was actually the first time we hit a boss, or a champion boss. There wasn't a bomb in the shop, was there? Ugh, I may have made... Okay, we are going to take a chance on one of these tendon rocks. And I'm going to use this one because then I could at least get the poop. Ugh. Alright, what the hell? Hey, more bombs. Actually, that's useful right now because now I can hit the other tendon rock. I'm wanting soul heart, or spirit hearts. More bombs! Okay, well, at least we're okay on bombs now. Secret room? No. Let's head... Whoa! Is this a champion sloth? That is not a useful card right now. As the health doubler. Secret room? Judgment, that's the beggar. We'll hold on to him, but at least we have that battery, so we have our book back for... Uh, I should say the... That's the Book of Balao, I believe. Which is a huge damage up. Oh shit, we're gonna need it. Oh, couldn't get it out of the way. Ah, shit. Well, we somehow killed him. Damage and... Holy shit, I'm shooting tears bigger than I am. Uh, not sure what that baby is, and I can't afford the health to check it. Actually, there is an old trick that used to be able to be done. Oh, shh. And it would help if I hit the right fucking button to do it. Is that if you use the beggar in here, the beggar's item pool was tied to the room he was summoned in. Nope, but... Health up, that's exactly what we needed. And I'm not gonna spend that health up to get a baby that I have no idea what it is. So, continuing on. No. I still don't know what the bar I picked up does. It looked like it was just... Calls and Dingle to stay in place. The world. Uh, that might be one I want to hold on to. Oh, oh, there we go. Now things are stabilized. Ah, shit. Can I get out of the way in time? Oh boy. Don't think I really need to use the book on this, but. Come on, get in a place where I could actually shoot you. It's like the long room. Whoa! Ah, oh. uh, didn't have a chance to get out of the way. That sucked. I'm burning hearts quickly. Okay. Okay, I have no idea what that does. It says Toxic Blast, so I'm assuming it's tied to my bombs. But I love the fact that it's on his ass. Uh, I'd love to go in the curse room just to see what's there, but I can't afford it. Ah. This is a <laughs> not a good setup. But like I said, Judas is my toughest character to actually 
deal with because he needs so much health or so many health ups I should say okay yeah. there was an there's an item over there that I have looks like a trinket of some sort and no idea what that trinket does okay Oh, to the boss. Ugh. Oh, shit. I'm pinned in. Another ball of bandages. And another chance for the... Devil. <laughs> Devil's actually being pretty good to me right now. And I guess down we go because there's really nothing else we could do here. I mean, we have plenty of bombs so we could go hunting for the secret room, but I don't feel comfortable with it. There's a few places that it could be. Okay, that is what Bandage Girl does. She shoots charming tears. And of course, is also a, a blocker for us. Ugh. Come on, one more. Looks like it's a chance to charm, not just tra not straight out charming tears. Is that peep saw? Or the peeper, so. That is gonna be some extra damage for us. Nope. Oh, that's a tease. Let's take care of the champion. Some health, which is very useful right now. We'll take the full health. Yeah, we are at basically a glass cannon. I mean, that's what Judas is naturally, and we haven't exactly gotten the health ups to get rid of that property of him. And the items we picked up is definitely uh, helped his glass t uh, glass cannon tendencies. Come on. There we go. Let's see where to head now. Shop isn't really an option yet. Absolute ton of damage. Oh, shit. That is a big champion. Whoa. Okay, I wasn't expecting it to do that. <laughs> oh, and a double heart as well. Quick drink. Now we'll continue on, uh, to the north. Ugh. Okay, there's the boss. We don't want to go in there yet. <laughs> Let's see. Where do we want to go? Let's... Uh, well, we could try for the secret room, but... Uh, that's blocked off. I want to try to get a little bit of money for the shop. And yes, I am risking these black hearts. Oh, no. Eh, 
then I uh, guess we're well we have a uh, options for the shop and or sorry the secret room so let's go ahead and do that I guess It'd be great if it's here <laughs> yes oh nauseous wasn't exactly what I was counting on though So I guess now the boss, because we only have the super secret room, and that's going to be very tough to find, even with ten bombs. Ah. ah. You know, I really should have hit that earlier. A angel room. No idea what that is. Oh, wow. Okay, Trinity Shield. It looks like it's a directional shield. Based on how I fired. That that would have made Gertie, the Gertie fight a cakewalk. <laughs> Granted, the Gertie fight wasn't exactly tough. The only damage I took was when I stupidly ran into him to try to drop a bomb at his feet. Assuming Gertie has feet, of course. Oh, this is going to make some of the fights a lot more interesting. Let's go ahead and pop in here. Uh, I don't feel good about that. Two red chests. Uh, ooh. I'm not sure if this shield will block the blood uh, beams, and I'm not going to risk it. There's our bomb. Just trying to play this carefully. There we go. We have an absolute ton of damage. Ugh, I don't want to risk that just yet. I'd feel a lot better if I don't have to go through that room. Because uh, that's, pre uh, uh, that's pretty much a guaranteed loss of a heart, in my opinion. Well, let's go ahead and try secret room. Ugh. Nope. Got one more penny to go for the shop, and I may try to pick that one up if need be. Ugh. I'm gonna go all out on this bastard. There we go, that's a lot better. Go ahead and pop the poop. Just to see if there's anything in it. Nope. Ugh. No, this is an interesting combination. I don't think we've seen a large room with these guys before. Okay, so that's what that is doing. It's making it so that the 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 guys are moving slower. I wasn't exactly sure about that before, but now I really see it on these guys. Just play it safe. Problem is that we're kind of short range, so... Gotta get pretty much right behind them, and if they double back on me, that's damage taken. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. Oh. There we go. Should be one more around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Let's head up here. Oh, great. And now it's these guys. And... Let's go ahead and try for some damage, plus getting 
some more bombs out of the deal. A lot more bombs out of the deal, actually. Uh, we're getting a lot of these guys. Uh-oh. Him down. One oh shit. Ah, uh, he turned just as I tried to sneak under him. I want the item room first. Which I really am hoping I don't have to go through that one room to get. It's not that I don't think I can get through it, it's just I'm not sure if I can get through it without taking damage. It looks like we have to go through that one room. So we'll just be careful about it, I guess. Mm. Ah! Whoa! That's a new one. A ghost version? Oh, that's a dick move, but we'll head here first for bombs. That's not what I wanted. Pretty much have to open this up and... Oh, I should have used that on the other side of that room. Shit. Didn't even think about that before. Oh. Okay, I key and a bomb for money. Do that. So we'll hit the shop now. Ugh. Stupid for me to... Easy, easy. Yeah, ah. yeah I should have held on to that card. Even though then I would have lost the world. Which I am holding on to the world for a reason. I want to have it for the one of the womb levels. Assuming we get that far, of course. Of course, greed. I don't know why I was even dodging him. That actually makes things worse if I try to dodge him at this point with the shield. Just the shield. I could uh, go sideways into a bull and then have it up with the shield. So. Ah. I guess that expl uh, answers the question if the blood beam can be blocked. Ah. We're not doing too hot. Finally a health up. Control bomb. Yeah, the devil's been actually really good to me. I mean, Granny's been kind of a jerk with the troll bombs just there, but he's been giving me the hearts I needed to actually continue. I was expecting to have to do a couple of these in order to actually get out of the basement. Because I have had those runs where I just haven't been able to get out of the basement because, ooh, Curse of the Unknown. Not sure what that is. Not sure what... <laughs> If I can get through that. But I've had a couple runs in the old version where, uh, you know, just running into a champion just ruins my day. Because a champion can deal one heart of damage even on the basement. Was that bandage girl that took him out? Whoa. Okay, let's not joke around with this.
And we get petrified poop. It feels lucky. And mom's wig. <laughs> You're just starting to look a lot like Samson, actually. Ugh, a double chub burn. Is that what the what mom's wig is doing? Uh, summoning uh, spiders? That's kind of nice, actually. <laughs> Get back here! I can't believe he uh, ran from me like that. <laughs> Never seen him cross the room like that. Do we have a door down here? Oh. There's the boss that we don't actually want to hit just yet. Wish I knew what Curse the Unknown did, though. Yeah. We haven't actually had any pills now that I think about it until now. We've seen a couple, but they've been inaccessible. Well, hold on to... We'll wait till after the room to get the pill, though. Hoping it's, hoping it's a helpful one. Pretty flaw. Okay, not the helpful one I was hoping for, but better than a health down. That's nearly very stupid. Okay. Oh, okay, now I see what Curse the Unknown is doing. I can't see my health. So I have no idea if I'm about to die. That's evil. And uh, a huge health up from Lard, which also makes me a little bit slower. But since I had a speed up a while back, it actually kind of cancels out. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we have to go through that one room. And with the slowdown from Lard, that's not exactly what I was hoping to have. Come on. Bait it out. There we go. Ew. Ah, tears down. Not helpful. I mean, we still have a fairly good firepower. Especially with the extra damage from the spiders. Okay, that, well, that's the shop I needed to go in there anyway. I'll take whatever the hell that is. Giant spot. Ooh! <laughs> I like. And this is depth two, so. Oh, I'll just realize something. This is steps two, so we're not going to know what our health is on the mom fight. So be careful and pick up the... Uh, probably going to be at 150. There we go for that. So... Time to head to the boss fight. Some big ass spiders. <laughs> Come on. I probably don't need to bait them out like that, but it's, you know, it feels a little safer. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to pick up this. Oh yeah, we weren't full health. So, 
Should we try for the secret room? I guess we should try these couple over here. I didn't try the one over near the shop, which was stupid. And we'll try over here since it's easier to center on. Oh, da another damage reduction? Okay. This is proving to be interesting. Damage reduction with Judas is very uh, well received. Ah, she got a stomping on me. Not brilliant. Uh, another angel room. Okay, holy water. That's going to drop a damage area around us whenever we get hit, which is lovely. I mean, it's not a huge thing. It's, there's definitely a lot of other things I would rather hit. Well, we're at full health, so that's nice. And we'll hit the world. And that's exactly why I was holding on to it. Makes life so much easier. Wasn't really expecting to get this far. <laughs> kind of amazed. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely worth. Maybe we'll head back out this way, since it's only two rooms. We're not gonna have the book of Palau. Actually, let me test something. Okay, it does look like the those rocks that, like that one in the corner. It does get always have some sort of damage or sorry, the bullets, but looks like the others don't always have the hearts. I'm gonna hit one more room. For that. I wanted the book ready. And I'm gonna throw the book at death. Yeah, sure, slow down, Tom. That's not going to help much. Ah. Ah, bandage girl is now a little bandage girl. If we hit one more uh, horseman, we would have had a full-powered bandage girl. Which I have no idea what that would be doing. I know the full powered meat boy, which is the other option. It will chase down enemies and kill them, but not sure about Bandage Girl. Of course, now we have no way of knowing which way to go. It's like she's still shooting, which is nice. We have an arcade down there, so if need be. Oh. Assuming when we don't kill the beggar. No. We'll give him some money. Because we have really no use for it at this point. Come on. Oh. You asshole. The reason why he's kind of a jerk is that if I could get that to the next level, that would, well, that, that would give me a health up. And, I, and he also dropped it in the doorway. But also, you know, uh, we're still at the point where us getting to the next level requires a deal with the devil or an angel room. 
And right now that's not exactly always helping or always happening, so yeah. Ugh. It's just nuts. And the reason why I don't want to come in here. Okay, Bandage Girl does chase him down, but she's also shooting tears as that. That's actually kind of helpful. Not hugely helpful because Bandage Girl's shooting in the direction that I'm shooting. Okay. Goat head again. Not exactly sure what that does. Another beggar. Evil room. There we go. Trying to focus these guys down the... Bandage Girl doesn't seem as, as aggressive as Meat Boy. And pick that up to top off and another large room. Full of nastiness. Okay. I think we may have a shot at mom with this. As much as it surprises me. Don't really have it. Kind of tempted to try to go back and hit the arcade for a heart, but uh, I, I think that's you know, doing a little too much. Oh man, that that to be my fastest uh, mom kill. And we do have an option to continue, so we will take that. And as last time, I will play the ending after we die. Since we have that option. So let's go to hell with Judas. And there's our uh, drop, the Ipecac. Okay, we just had to kill that one guy in there? Weird. Ah, oh, fuck. War. Was it good for? And I don't have the Book of Bilal to make use of him. Or, or to really lay into him, I should say. So let's t take a look at, think about our Satan chances. Uh, Satan is a lot of dodging, as we saw in the last episode. We do have some sort of damage reduction with the Trinity Shield and the, ah uh, shit, what was the other one? It's the mask that I can't think of the name of offhand. So we do have some reduction. I think we could get uh, at least a couple, uh, getting the Fallen, I think it's going to be the toughest part. Uh, whoa, a double uh, wrath room. But any and there's our another drop that we got. And Mr. Mega. Ooh, that's gonna make the bombs a lot more interesting that we absolutely have a ton of. Yeah, I haven't actually been using my bombs on that much this run. Even though I have some of the more interesting drops. Or... Uh, 
Oh, great. Oh, that took... I took a lot less damage there than I was expecting. So, let's continue, I guess, north. Kind of wish I had the world card at this point. I think I'll... Huh. Okay. I guess that makes me poop every so often. I don't think I'd really want that, though. And there's the boss, but with three hearts, I don't feel good about this. I'll try it, though, but I'm not expecting much. Okay, got a hit in on, on the fallen. Ah. Oh. Why would I decide not using the Book of Balal there? Yeah, I only have two hits that I could uh, take in this fight now. But I have an absolute ton of damage I'm dealing. So... Try to focus. Ah, that's one. We did it? Holy shit. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I'm just flabbergasted. <laughs> oh, that was. Whew. That was intense, and that was a lot clearer than our Eve run. So let's go ahead and get our ending, and then we'll do the other ending. Okay, I wasn't sure if the ending would be the same as the other one, since it was still a Satan kill. But I wanted to err on the side of caution there, and what I think that is, is the photograph, which will allow us to get to the other end level. But before we do anything, endings, ending six. Yeah, and that's what the Ipecac does, if the name didn't give it away. But that will do us for today. Whew. I'm just kind of blown away that we actually did it. <laughs> Whew. So next time we will... I don't know what we'll do. It's going to be an interesting one because we didn't unlock a character. and We still have a few that we haven't taken out. Some of the more fun ones. <laughs> Until then, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again with more Binding of Isaac Rebirth next time.